Hey guys, so this might be my review of The Flash 804. Uh, I, the episode just finished the time you're recording this, so it, it's still like fresh in my mind. Um, so if I sound happy, that's why. It was a very good episode. If you haven't seen it, click on this video now. Go watch it, come back, and watch this review. Um, hit like button down below, subscribe if you're new, share it, and enjoy the rest of the video. We're gonna get right into it. Um, so it started right off from where we end off in 803 with Barry going to 2031 at the West Party. Um, and us seeing Thawne. Um, they cut like a minute or two before Thawne did his speech and they all know it's Barry. Um, we learned that Ryan Mother is married and talking about having kids with... Or she's talking about having kids with Iris. Not saying that Ryan and Iris are going to have kids, but... Ryan is talking to Iris by having kids. <laughs> Just want to make that clear. Allegra moved to London. She moved. She went back from the city for this party. Um, and then it, Thawne gave the same speech in the of 803. Um, Barry appeared. And everyone... This isn't the case, which is not what I thought at all. No one thinks that Thawne is Barry and Barry is Thawne. Everyone knows Thawne is Thawne, Barry is Barry. But Thawne tampered with the timeline. We're going to get into that in a minute on how, but it was very good. <laughs> and I'm very proud of the writers for this. Um, we saw Barry has red lightning, which I was not expecting at all. We knew he'd be in a reverse flash suit, but I was not expecting him to have red lightning. The same with Thawne, um, but he does. And we see him in a new reverse flash suit, which we've seen on screen a couple times by now. Thawne suited up in the in the flash suit and he has the yellow orangish well more yellow lightning than orange, but you get what I mean. Um and then all our team flash attacked Barry. We know Barry's speed is lower. So when I was watching this episode at the beginning, I was like, why is Barry getting his butt kicked by Batwoman and Alex? I was like, it speeds slower. I forgot. I kind of forgot that part. <laughs> even though I wanted a 10 minute rant about it in my last video, even though I didn't record it, I actually edited out of the video in my last review. Um, so I forgot it. I don't know, but I did. So I was kind of annoyed. And then I was like, he, his speed got slower. So I guess it made a little sense. Um, then we learned that this version of Barry killed Ray Palmer, Sarah Lance, Nate Haywood, and Cisco. <laughs> um,. So that happened. <laughs> I don't. It, 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 that was kind of <laughs> that. That shook me a lot because I was like, he killed like four of the three, two, two of the best people, Ray and Cisco, that we've ever had on these shows. Sarah and Nate can, you know, I don't really care if they die, but <laughs> Ray and Cisco. I mean, come on, <laughs> you kill those two off and make it Barry. I mean, God. Um, and then Barry managed to run away. Wells was not, or Thawne was knocked out. Barry threw lightning at him. Um, and then, uh, Barry took Iris and tried to convince, um, her that he is actually, you know, good. And Thawne's evil and Thawne tempered the timeline. Chilblain appeared with Frost and they were doing, you know what, in the bathroom. <laughs> Um, so I guess they're together now. Um, Chilbin and Frost, not Kate. Um, Barry tells Iris that he, that she, Iris is his lightning rod to try to convince her. And then Thawne shows up and takes Barry to some random point in the city. We don't really know where. And Thawne made a reverse flashpoint, which I'm pretty sure is what I said in my theory videos. That this would be the cause of it. It wouldn't be a flashpoint. It'd be a reverse flashpoint. I was right, <laughs> and I'm glad I was right, because I was so good. I was hoping the writers would do that, because it sounds so cool to say reverse flashpoint, instead of just saying, oh, he made a flashpoint, just like Barry's made a dozen times. No, it's the reverse. He's a reverse flash. He's made a reverse flashpoint. Good on you writers for doing that. Then we learned everything Thawne has done to mess with Barry in the timeline. Thawne killed Joe. He ran super fast so that the cameras wouldn't catch him. That scene where we saw Joe off the train tracks being pushed off, it was Thawne. He came in at the right millisecond of time to make it look like Joe got shoved off by a random person. But it was actually Thawne pushing him off the tracks and making him get ran over by a train, which killed him. Which drove Barry nuts. 
Then Thawne reigned in 2013 and made sure he was sucked by the lightning and became the Flash, and Barry never did. Um, which then caused Barry to go down everything Thawne went through and everything Thawne, Barry went through, Thawne went through. It's a complete reverse, pun intended, of everything that happened to Barry and Thawne, just the exact opposite for them. Um, Thawne rewrote everything, and Thawne made Barry the reverse Flash. I'm assuming this means this version of Barry's from the future and is following everything that Thawne did. I'm assuming that's what he means. Um, Thawne wore Barry's face in this suit in 2021 when we saw Barry attack in the city and Barry said he didn't remember it. He wasn't lying. He didn't remember because he didn't do it. <laughs> that was Thawne. He wore Barry's face. He wore his suit in our timeline and attacked the city. So this wasn't Thawne taking over Barry like we all thought. This was Thawne himself wearing Barry's face. Straight out of the comics. <laughs> Which I'm so glad they did that. I mean, I think we all it would have been cooler if Thawne actually took over Barry and he was reverse slash for a bit. But how they would have gotten out of that, I don't know. But knowing that that was Thawne... Makes it, that scene a hundred times better for me. I haven't gone back and rewatched it yet, but I'm going to keep that in mind when I rewatch it. <laughs> go, just go rewatch that scene of Barry attacking the city and just remember that Thawne doing it. It probably made that scene a hundred times better. Um, then Thawne went back and killed Barry as a child. And now Barry's not going to exist at midnight point in time in this episode. Um, throughout the time of this episode being done. It's like a couple hours so Barry has a couple hours before it's going to be a race. Um, kind of like Savitar, but this time makes more sense. <laughs> um, and Thawne said he didn't cause Armageddon. Now, we know the Flash supposedly destroyed the world. Leading it to believe that it was Barry. And it still could have been. But... Thawne saying he didn't destroy the world, he didn't cause Armageddon, would simply mean that it was Barry. And I think we all connected the dots on that. Um, the Speed Force chose Thawne this time, so Barry can't turn to it. I think in my review or a theory video I did, I was like, why can't Barry just go to Speed Force, get his full speed back now? That's why. I'm so glad the Rise put that in because that would have been a big thing that I know people would have hated on the Rise for not mentioning. Um, the city looks to the Flash, Eobar Thawne, now, instead of, you know, which you kind of, you have to think about it. Is the past timeline where Barry's from, our timeline, the present, is that timeline just not fixed yet? Because Thawne attacked the city as the Flash, right? So I guess this timeline, it's not like 2021's different for them? I guess that's what they're saying? I don't know. It's <laughs> something along those lines. Um, just a bunch of timeline crap all messed up. Uh, Damien Dark appeared, and he never died in this timeline. Oliver never killed him. Whether that was Thawn, or that was just an Earth Prime thing. I don't know. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Unless he shows up again, but we're not going to know for a while, probably. Um... And then, uh, apparently Dark was in prison and he got let go, I think they said like a week or two before now, or maybe a couple months, I don't remember. And, uh, apparently Barry went to go see Dark and Dark mentioned that they had teamed up before. I would assume this is like name dropping something in the Legends with Barry and, uh, or not Barry, uh, Thawn and Dark where they did that team up in Legends, like the actual Thawne, not Tom Kavanaugh, was Matt uh, Letcher, whatever his name is, that actor, teaming up with Dark, I'm assuming that's what that tie-in was, I don't know though, um, Barry goes to Dark to get payback in Thawne, and you can really tell the good acting from Grant, like he actually, it felt like he was Reverse Flash, the way he was talking, acting, like it felt like he was Thawne for a minute, and I loved that scene so much, um, it was just an amazing scene by Grant and um, Neil McDove, who plays Damien Dark. Just amazing all around the board, and amazing writing there. 
Um, so very good to the writers for that. Um, Barry tells Stark that Thawne made his own timeline to get him the help, trying to convince Stark that Thawne is a villain and he should be stopped no matter what. And, you know, trying to convince them, which wouldn't take much because it's Stark and Barry's reverse flash, so, you know, why wouldn't they? Barry forgot the particle accelerant device, I'm pretty sure it was called, the PED, that Dark mentioned, um, that Dark saw Barry use, um, to slip, to change the timeline or something, to help with that, or to give Barry more speed, um, and because Barry forgot it, Dark then, Dark was questioning whether he was Barry or not, um, whether he was just Barry's reverse flash or he's someone completely different. Um, Cecile can't use her powers to connect to Barry the reverse flash. Why? I don't know. They didn't really talk about that much. I'm assuming because maybe because he's the reverse. <laughs> I, I don't know. He's still our Barry, but who knows? Um, Team Flash is fully convinced that Barry is in fact the reverse flash and Dawn seems to actually care for Iris. Whether or not that's just playing Iris, you know, whether Thawne's just playing Iris, it did legitimately seem like Thawne was caring about Iris for a bit. So that was just something I wanted to point out, because it didn't look that way. He could have just been playing Iris, who knows? But, you know, I mean, it could be a similar case to Nora West Allen, if you remember season 5, Thawne actually treated Nora as if she was his own daughter. I mean, that's how he felt about her. So it could be one of those things. Um... We learned that Thawne's marrying Iris tomorrow. Um, Star Labs appears to be fixed. Took eight years, but it appears to be fixed. We saw that a little bit in the promo, but it looks like it. Um, apparently, Allegra and Chester got together in 2021. It hasn't happened yet. In this, at this point in time, I guess. I'm assuming. <laughs> um, and Chester ended up leaving, according to Allegra. Um, which is a completely different story for Chester. We'll get into that in a minute. Dark attacked Team Flash to make them lose focus so that he and Barry could steal the ped, the device for the particle accelerator. Um, Dark chokes Chester and Ryan Choi to death. Nearly killed them. Barry ran Dark out before he could kill him. Um, and then Dark started choking Barry... Um, because of that, because he didn't trust him. And then, um, Barry tells Dark that Thawne is erasing him because he's, like, starting to fade away a little bit, starting to catch up with him. And Barry tells Dark that in the other timeline, his daughter is alive because his daughter had died in this timeline. Um, and I didn't catch it, but I guess Barry told Thawne that he's actually the Flash in another timeline. I guess that's the whole thing. I don't entirely know, but Thawne learned that Barry's a paragon of love and all that from Crisis, and that he made a whole new reality. He knew all of that from Barry when he read his mind, I guess. Um, Dark was willing to help now that he can save his daughter and all that. Batwing was mentioned from Batwoman. Batwing was mentioned saying that Two-Face showed up in Gotham, that Ryan needs to go back, so I guess Two-Face is still in Gotham. Um, I, I don't watch Batwoman, so I'm assuming that'll be a future villain, and he just never gets caught. Who knows? Um, Ryan gave Iris... This is Ryan... Um, Wilder, Batwoman, gave Iris... Because there's two Ryans in the episode. Ryan Wilder, Ryan Troy. Ryan Wilder gave Iris a device that will would disconnect Barry to his speed force for good. At this time, Iris still believes Barry's reverse flash, so she would do it. And it's a gun that shoots and then, you know, disconnect them. It, well, not for good. It would disconnect them temporarily. Because we'll learn that in the, later in the episode, it's not for good. Um, Iris couldn't write her wedding vows for Thawne after what Barry said. It really threw her off. So, I guess that means Iris is believing Barry even then. So, who knows? Um, we learned that Ryan is married to Sophie and said they're going to adopt children. Because they had a call in between those, the beginning scene and this scene. Which is cool that they mentioned that. Um, so that we know <laughs> what happened. Um, then Alex confronted Chester about leaving Allegra, but he really didn't. Um, during that scene, Chester name dropped the Legion of Doom, which is amazing that they mentioned that. 
I'm hoping we see him go off again because it's in 2021. And, you know, I mean, who knows? We're probably already past it. And this is going to be another name drop. I hope it's not. But, you know, um, although this is a new timeline we're in. So who knows, honestly. But um, we learned that Allegra cut off Chester after Chester supposedly left. It was really for Chester to go get coffee to come back with Allegra to be with her. And then she left. Um, cause she didn't want to be broken again with what I think to her parents, she said something along those lines. Um, Choi, Ryan Choi isn't married anymore, apparently. And apparently doesn't have a kid. So good job, Don. <laughs> Screw with everyone's life. Um, then we learned that Barris hit Mach 20 to open a time portal, which should run that fast and trying to time travel. He needs 40,000 miles straight. To be able to open up time portal. Um, and in order to do that, to reset the timeline, he would need to run around the world, which is the only way he can get those 40,000 miles in. Um, he would need to run so fast at Mach 20, which would cause the molten core of the Earth, the core of the Earth, the molten core, to nearly be destroyed. And cause Armageddon, meaning Despero is telling the truth the entire time. So, in a way, Despero was a hero. It's just, you know, <laughs> he, he he's an anti-hero. He's trying to kill people, but at the same time, he's trying to save lives. It's a mix of stuff going on. Um, We learned that Barry would have two minutes to fix the world, otherwise we're all dead. <laughs> um, Dark... As I mentioned earlier, we found out that Dark knows Barry's back enough of love. Um, Barry tried to talk to Iris to convince her again that Barry is the hero and Thawne's a villain. Um, and then Thawne showed up and told Iris to shoot Barry. Um, and Iris ended up shooting Thawne <laughs> um, because he believed Barry, um, which I'm so glad. I, I'm not being ironic here. Like, honestly, I'm so glad they still know. Like, Iris believes Barry and all that. It always comes down to that, and I love it. <laughs> um, Dark tells Barry it's going to be the origin point of when Barry's supposed to be opening up the time portal. Um, it'll be that whole loop around the world. This one loop, or lap, whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty sure it's one. That or several, who knows. But at least one around the world. And when he gets to Dark, he's supposed to time travel. I think he did a little bit before this, but we didn't see him. But... Uh, Allegra and Chester end up telling each other they love each other because they believe the world's going to end. Um, Chillblane and Frost attack Dark. Um, Army Guinness started happening. Um, and Barry started running around the world, like, right away. Hundreds of earthquakes started appearing all over the world, all over the city. Thawne actually caught up to Barry. Um, then we learned that John Constantine gave Frost and Chilbrain a spell to protect them from Dark's magic. Um, but Dark is still taking him down because he's a League of Assassins. We know that from Arrow. Um, so that's nothing new. Um, Allegra and Chess, I already said that, uh, Barry's speed is still dampened. Um, and, uh, Barry managed to connect to Iris to get his full speed back. I'm assuming it's Sorry, I'm assuming he's full speed back. We don't really know, but I would assume so. I mean, come on. <laughs> um, then we saw Dark take Frost and Chilbane's powers and use it against them, like actually use the freeze blast. Um, Ryan Choi appeared to see Adam, and Alex knocked out Dark. Um, we saw Ryan Choi in the classic Adam suit that we saw in Cephalos that I talked about in a separate video months ago. Um... And then Iris had a spark of lightning in her eyes, which again connected Barry to the Speed Force, brought him back. Barry got into the portal. Thawne was following up, but Barry was faster, so he got away quicker. I'm assuming that's the case. And he goes to 2021. Desperate was attacking everyone on Team Flash to get Barry's location. And then the timeline, there's a wave of energy just flowing through the entire world. And it's Barry and Thawne coming back to 2021 20, after Barry's fixed the timeline. Thawne was teaching him the whole way. Barry outran him, fixed the timeline. That's what that wave was. And so, you know, no one was there. And no one was around Barry because Armageddon never really happened, I guess you can say. 
or just, I don't know, you, you can watch the episode, you can figure it out, I, I don't entirely understand what happened there, like, are they just saying that Armageddon never happened, is that what's happening, like, but Despero knows, somehow, I guess we'll find out 805, hopefully, um, Barry told Despero the truth, that it was Thawne the whole time, but he only saw Barry running, or, I guess, Thawne running, but he never saw actually Barry trying to fix the timeline, which caused Armageddon. Um, and then Barry mentioned again that Iris are connecting him to his Speed Force. Despero leaves to go to 2031 and tells him that he will return if it looks like the world's going to get destroyed. We're going to see him again. I'm assuming we'll on 805. Who the hell knows? Um, Joe's alive now. <laughs> um, that's good. Um, and Thawne's going to try to sort the timeline again, which is a cliffhanger for 805. I didn't see the promo fully for, um, for 805, but from what it sounds like, this is going to be an all-out fight between Barry and Thawne. Um, hopefully. I would hope so. <laughs> um, but this really did feel like a finale. This felt like a finale. And I was honestly questioning towards the end, um, like when Barry started running around the world... The time traveling, and it came back to Despero leaving. I was like, is this the end of the episode? <laughs> like, is, is this the end of the crossover? It really felt that way. It's like a, like a season finale. I mean, it, it really felt that, which I love it, by the way. I, I'm not complaining about it. I felt really cool to see that kind of take place as a whole. But, yeah. Overall, an amazing episode, 10 out of 10. This whole crossover has been 10 out of 10. Um, 801, 802 were higher than that. I think... 801 and 802 were better than 803 and 804 for me, but I still absolutely love 804 and 803. They're a close second to 802 and 801. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, if anything comes out for Flash 805, I'm going to do a video on it. Um, otherwise, I might have a similar Lowe's video coming out uh, later this week. Who knows? Depends what happens this week. And uh, yeah, stay safe. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.